And this evening, that promise takes new heights with Next Weather Investigates. Stories where we dig deeper, exploring weather-related changes happening in our backyards. Some of you have contacted us wondering why we're not seeing as many bees this summer. So we asked John Lortzen to investigate. He got answers and discovered something you can do to help rebuild the bees. If I hear a beekeeper complaining about something, I go, I can make that. Needing something to do in retirement, Steve Wollstonecroft took up beekeeping in Hugo. And for the past few years, his honey business has been buzzing. All they do is want to build, build, build. Colonies make their homes in color boxes. There's even a flight path the pollinators follow as they search for nectar. These are young bees that take the nectar from the older bees and move it into the hive for storage. But like other agricultural endeavors, Mother Nature has a say in just how much honey is produced. This is farming. These are considered a farm animal, and they are, they are the weather affects them. It's feast or famine, and I can't say what's good and what's bad. Wollstonecroft says last year's drought and this year's dry weather hasn't really impacted his colonies, but that's not the case with other bee species. This morning, I was seeing a lot of bumblebees visiting this garden. Katrina Klett is with the Bee Lab at the University of Minnesota. While pesticides and habitat loss have taken a toll on native bee species, Klett says dry weather can also have an impact. In different climatic conditions and different weather patterns, Patterns. Some flowers will be more strained by dry conditions. So in years of drought, your nectar producing plants will be more limited. That doesn't mean the population is down. It just means your plants may not be producing what the bees are looking for, forcing them to look elsewhere. But there are things you can do to bring them back. So you're starting to see initiatives here like bee lawns, and you're starting to see different prairie seed mixes incorporated into people's yards. So things like this are great ways um, for your average citizen to bring more bees into their yard. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Although it's not as bad as it was a year ago, for the year we are about three inches below average for precipitation, which will affect a number of native bee species.